Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be talking about multiplying polynomials. In this topic, we will look into multiplying single terms using the FOIL method to multiply binomials, multiply polynomials with more than two terms. The method used to multiply polynomials depends on the number of terms that make up the polynomials. However, in all cases, you need to remember how to work with the loss of exponent, how to use the distributive property, and to simplify by combining like terms. And as we work through the example in this video, remember that in algebra, multiplication can be indicated by parenthesis or by a dot. Let's start with multiplying single terms. Recall that according to the loss of exponents, when you multiply two exponents with the same base, the exponents are added. This still applies in multiplication involving variables. When multiplying single terms, you will multiply the coefficients and then add the exponents if the variables are the same. For example, multiply 3x squared minus 2x. So we multiply the coefficients, 3 times 2 is 6, then x squared times x, we add the exponent, so we have 6x cubed as the final answer. And uh, also remember that if there is no exponent written, the exponent is understood to be to be 1. Let's see another example. y squared times negative 2y to the 4th power. So the answer is negative 2y to the 6th power, adding the exponent of y squared and y to the 4th power. So the final answer is negative 2y to the 6th power. Now, the rules of exponents cannot be used if the bases are different. Look at this example. If the variables are different, only the coefficient are multiplied. So we can only multiply 3 and 8. So 3 times 8 is 24xy as the final answer. Let's proceed to multiplying single terms and larger polynomials. Here, using the distributive property, you can multiply any polynomial by a single term by distributing the single term to every term in the polynomial. After that, it is just a matter of applying the rules of exponent and simplifying. Let's try some example. Multiply 3x times the difference of 4x squared and 1. So distribute. First is 3x times 4x squared and 3x times negative, negative 1. So we have 12x cubed minus 3x as the final answer. Another example is negative 2x cubed times x squared minus x plus 4. Okay, distributing negative 2x cubed to each of the term in the larger polynomials, we have negative 2x cubed times x squared minus negative 2x cubed times x plus negative 2x cubed minus 4 and the final answer is by simplifying and combining like terms 
negative 2x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 4 minus 8x cubed. Let's proceed to multiplying two binomials. First, let us understand what is a binomial. Okay, when we say binomial, it is a polynomial with two terms. Okay. Now, in multiplying binomials, there are certain steps to follow. They are commonly referred to by the shorthand term FOIL. Okay. Let's use the example 3x plus 1 and x minus 2 to understand the steps of FOIL. Okay, step 1, F, which means multiply the first two terms. So multiplying the first two terms, we have 3x times x is equals to 3x squared. Step 2, O, multiply the outer two terms. So we have 3x times negative 2. The answer is negative 6x or minus 6x. Step 3, I, it means multiply the inner two terms. The inner two terms are 1 and an x. So we have plus x. Then step 3, L, multiply the last two terms. The last two terms are 1 and negative 2. So we have negative 2. And then combining like terms, by combining negative uh, 6x plus x, the final answer is 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. Let's try another example. Again, let's apply the FOIL and then simplify. So we, we can multiply x times 2x first. So we have 2x squared. And then x times 1, we have x. And then inner, i, negative 5 times 2x, we have negative 10x. And then the last two, the last terms, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Then simplify by combining like terms. We have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. And now, let's proceed to multiplying polynomials with more than two terms. Some questions on the GED test may ask you to multiply two polynomials with many terms. In questions like this, keep your work organized. There will be a lot of terms to keep track of. And Always remember the distrib to distribute every term. Let's try an example. Okay, multiply x plus 5 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. There are two terms in the first polynomial, x and 5. And in order to multiply these two polynomials, each term in the second polynomial must be multiplied by x and then again by by 5. So first, distributing x to every terms on the second polynomial and then 5 to every terms on the second polynomials. Then we have x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 5x squared minus 10x plus 5. And then by combining like terms, we've got the final answer, which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 5.
Let's try another example. Multiply 2x minus 1 times 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. The same as in, exam in the previous example, distribute the 2x and the negative 1 to each term in the second polynomial. So we have this expression, 2x times 4x squared plus 2x times 3x plus 2x times 2. And then negative 1 times 4x squared, negative 1 times 3x, and then negative 1 times 2. Okay. Simplifying, we have 8x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x minus 4x squared minus 3x minus 2, and then combining like terms, we've got 8x cubed plus 2x squared plus x minus 2 as the final answer. Okay, that's the end of this video. If you have any question or you did not understand part of the presentation, you can comment below. If you want to know more about PokePals, you can visit www.pokepals.org or you can contact us through our Facebook, PokePals, or call us on 081-417-0978.